Hello again, YouTube. I'm back with another serious video message. And it's about basically a silent holocaust or secret genocide, which is the fact of celebrities being murdered and as well as many others because I found out recently, in recent months, I found out that this not only happens to just celebrities, it happens to people from all walks of life, from the homeless person on the street on to up to the famous billionaire. So, and before I get off with this message, if you're not spiritual, this message is not for you. If you want to think, continue to think that this is a game, like, you know, people getting their souls snatched and dying and going to hell and and others just being killed and having their identity stolen, and you think it's something to laugh about and joke about and take lightly, then this message is not for you. If you want to continue to attend these Masonic churches, these Masonic um, denominational systems where God said he hated, he said in the book of Revelation that he killed her children, he killed, he'll kill her children with death, then this message is not for you. But moving on, today's subject is Mariah Carey because I feel as though that y'all didn't hear me the first time. And I also said that um, my last in my last video, this, this was the only video I was going to do about her. And I also, you know, stumbled upon a video. And this, I mean, I'm proud of the fact that, you know, this is receiving more attention now. You know, it's still yet in its, you know, in its, you know, primitive stage. Or in the you know the beginning stage or whatever, but um, I would just like to say that uh, in, in the lady that I saw her video covering Mariah Carey being replaced and stuff, she said that you know she mentioned that you know I said that Mariah Carey was was uh, replaced in 1992, and I would just like I, I, I mean I got a good. You know, I got a good argument for that because, firstly, I don't pick these dates that these celebrities disappeared, you know, off the top of my head. I don't pick them out randomly. The thing, you know, the, the, re, you know, um, the reason I came up with these conclusions is because, you know, it, it, was through, it was through vocal analysis, you know, singing, you know, um, vocal, you know, vocal timbre, vocal texture, and, you know... Um, and in the overall, you know, vocal sound, the sound of the person's voice, as well as, you know, their physical features, or physical characteristics or traits or attributes or whatever. And and as well as um, their personality change and energy profiles. I mean, I mean, um, all of those things, I mean, you, as well as, you know, divine revelation. And, you know, they all coincide with each other. And the question I would like to ask ask this person is, I mean, if, if you know, if Mariah Carey didn't die in 1992, disappear, and was killed and replaced in 92, then when did she, when did she leave us, you know? But, you know, she, I mean, maybe she, maybe she was in a hurry or something. She didn't give full detail. And I would like, I would just like to say that, you know, she was, by 1993, by the time, you know, um, Music Box was released, and she did that Thanksgiving special, she had already been replaced by, and she was gone for over a year by that time, and the reason, and, and I would just like to say that, you know, the reason I block comments is because I got tired of being harassed by trolls, and I, I would also like to mention that around the time that, um, Yahweh Rules posted his video about why they was this why why he both he and his wife had posted videos about why they were <clears throat> they had disabled comments is because I actually got a revelation from God around that time that a lot of the people they'll come around here trolling me and stuff. You know, they weren't just, you know, pay shields, hire detractors and um uh just government trolls and um uh, disinfo agents, but, you know, they were, you know, they were demons behind cloned bodies, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with him at this point that, you know, roughly half of the world's population, or maybe a little bit more, are clones, they're soulless beings, and, you know, they were the ones, you know, the demons behind the cloned bodies, 
behind the, the cloned individuals that were passing themselves off as human. As human, they were the ones that, you know, were posting those uh, comments and stuff. Because I can't think of any other reason why somebody would come around and, um, and troll somebody and stuff. You know, spend all day when, you know, they have a job or... Uh, um, and, and other things in their life that, that would take up their time. They have a job, family, you know, um, other obligations and things of that nature. But, you know, getting down to Mariah Carey, the difference is vast as, you know, which one is the real, the real one and which one is the imposter. The one, the picture on the left was taken in, you know, uh, the summer 1991 when she was in New York doing a uh, autograph signing for her latest album, Emotions. I also like to add that for the first two albums, Mariah Carey's image not only didn't change, but you know she did. There was no auto tune, you know, used in her music. So, you you know, to enhance her voice or anything, if there is then you know I'm not aware of it. You know, because as I could hear the little flaws that you hear in a person's voice when they would sing live or a cappella or whatever. But the one to the right was taking, you know. Um, it was in 05 or 06. I just know that, you know, based on this little inscription in the background, it's taken during the Emancipation of Mimi era. And and I would just like to say again, the reason I know the, the change in Mariah Carey's voice, personality, you know, uh, physical features, uh, and energy profile, they all coincide. And plus, around that time, I had a very terrible nightmare or something. And for the rest of the day, although I went out, I was seven years old at the time. And me and the rest of my family had, you know, had gone out of town for the day. I just felt very sick. You know, for some reason, I just felt sick that day and stressed out. And I, I, I just didn't know why I couldn't figure, for a long time, I couldn't figure out. Because I had a nightmare before, a horrible nightmare. And, you know, I don't, I don't really remember it, but... All I know is, is that, you know, it was so bad, I just, I just felt sick for the rest of the day. I couldn't even eat anything. I mean, they get, they, um, my parents went to a, a gas station and, you know, got a, got a, um, a slurpee for us. And I didn't really want it. I just had no appetite that day. I believe something, to be honest, because, uh, I mean, be, me being a child of God myself, I think I can sense when, and I'll get more into other incidents that I feel when the actual person died and, you know, how it coincided with um, what I went on in my own life. And this is all the subject, but I made a, I made a video uh, several weeks ago Wendy, about Wendell Williams, but, you know, I kind of messed it up, so I just scrapped it. But I do plan on getting back to that in the future, but moving on. You know, that night I did had a better dream, you know, that night when I went to sleep. Um, but anyway, uh, the one on the right just, the one on the left, you, you can see the soul in her eyes. And and she just has that uh, general, you know, raw human look. And uh, she was, I'm going to just throw this scene, by the way. She was a real person at one point, but she was murdered and replaced. I mean, some celebrities... Uh, they were they were never real in the first place, but the others, but the rest they were um, the rest they were never real people in the first to, to, to start with, and I also noticed that I looked at pictures of her parents even before she came famous. I also noticed that they were cloned, and that you know she doesn't look that much like them. And somebody says if said if um, both her parents and on top of that the parents are transgender, and somebody said if. If that's the case, then how did Mariah Carey try to be a real person when, you know, only real people can come as a result of a man and a woman having sex? Well, I got a good answer for that. To be honest with you, I believe Mariah Carey's parents, so-called Alfred Roy Carey and Patricia, I believe they were actually her aunt and uncle because, if I'm being honest, they don't, they don't look, she doesn't look that much like them. So I think they were they were her aunt and uncle respectively, and they were just being passed off as her real parents. Her real parents were likely murdered either when she was very little or shortly after she was born. So pretty much a lot of things about these people's lives is a lie. And back to the uh, the comp photo, the thing that's like I said before, the thing that's a dead giveaway, and these are two different individuals, is the energy profile. Somebody said, what does that mean? Why energy profiles is, is, you know, um, every person, 
Every person, whether they're cloned or not, they give off a different, unique energy about them. And no two people, just like fingerprints, no two people are exactly like, and neither do they give off the same pro energy profile, the same aura, or the same, I know it sounds a bit new age, but I don't know what else to call it. They don't give off the same energies or vibes or vibrations and stuff. And like I said before, the neck on the original lady is longer. On the original Mariah is long. I also noticed another thing. The original Mariah Carey. I mean, I'm not picking on her or anything because, I mean, she's in heaven now. So, and she was a child of God. And that's why the Illuminati had to get rid of her. It's because, you know, she gave off these energies that, you know, would, you know, would, um, <clears throat> how do I put this, would uh, orient our fans more towards their creator. And that's why after a short amount of time, either these people are famous, they were, they, were, they were eliminating for the rest of that person's career for like, I would say 95% of the rest of that individual's career, as long as their name and image is in existence, is in existence, they are, um, uh, 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 it's the imposters that we, that, you know, that our eyes are being assaulted with. But back to uh, the original Mariah Carey. One way I know it's the original is because I guess see her not knocking her or anything because I like her. I really like her, and especially I, I, I mean I, I like the original. Okay, I mean I don't like the imposters and you tro idiotic trolls. You don't have to keep coming up here trying to get me to accept the imposters being a real Mariah Carey because. The, the fake Mariah Carey's, they're not real, they're not the real deal, and they never will be. I don't like them, and you can't make me like them, okay? So, I just, like, get that out of the way. But anyway, as with everyone else in the industry, Mariah Carey, that's, you know, that's mainstream, it's mainstream success, and even, you know, ordinary people. Um, Mariah Carey, she was transgender, she was born a boy, and one way I could tell is that, you know, as you can see here, this is, you can see a slight Adam's apple. Somebody said she can't be, I mean, yes, I mean, I was even fooled to tell you the truth because the Maria Mariah Carey looked, you know, she looked very, very feminine and stuff. You know, she, there, was never, there, was, there was nothing really masculine about her, you know, except maybe her facial structure, but, you know, she was still a raving beauty. And here she has a bit of a, um, a bit of a masculine, you know, um, uh, facial structure and jawline and stuff. I mean, I just, I mean, the pointy chin, according to that, um, according to Apostle Laura Lee, could be a, uh, a chin implant, but it could be natural. I mean, I don't know. So, I mean, this is just speculation. But here she's still gorgeous, and this is the real Mariah Carey, 100%. Because, you know, she has a certain look about her. I mean, her face, I mean, it's just perfect. It's just goes to show that God is the perfect designer. I mean, the originals, they will always outdo the imposters. So, that's why I just say with comments, because I, I just got tired of the nonsense. Of the, I guess I guess the de demons didn't want me, the stinking green demons didn't want me to, uh, <laughs> didn't want me, um, you know, down in their creations or whatever. And once again here, you can see the slight Adam's apple. I mean, and I'm going to go to before she was famous and show you that you know, she was a boy as well. Right here, this picture was taken in like 84, 85. As you can see, you know, she has a slight, you know, she has the boy, she has the hips, and I don't know if she has any boobs or not. You can plainly tell that this is a boy. But even then, you know, um, I think I think um, the reason somebody said, how does she get the hips and stuff? is because of um, hormone replacement therapies or treatments that they give you know, these individuals to make them develop secondary characteristics of the opposite sex that they was born as. Right here is a picture of her during her childhood. And you can also tell that it's a boy. And somebody would say that, well, look at her eyes. They look a bit clonish. Well, the quality of the photo is poor. So, it then, you know, it does make, you know, people look soulless sometimes. And right here, this is a high school picture from senior year, 1987. And that's the original Mariah Carey. I matched it up with her. Other, the other pictures of the original after she were, became famous and, you know, it's her. But since my time is growing short, I had to shut this down. I mean, any questions or comments, don't hesitate to send them to me. And if you want to, you can like this and subscribe for my, subscribe for my channel. And peace, everyone.
Godspeed.